Hello, I've got a little friend here today, but I also had a really good friend who shared with me a great idea to do with my kids before I actually share a Bible story. So I'm going to go ahead and share that idea with you today. Before I read a story from the Bible to children, it's really good to give a little Snapchat of context before the story. So things you want to look at is what real time in history did it take place? What real place did it take place at? And what real people were there in this story? So let me give you an example. Let's say I was going to share the story of Jesus' resurrection from the Gospel of John. So I might introduce it to my class this way. I would say, kids, I've got a fantastic story to share with you today from the Bible. And it happened a long time ago. And I would show a poster like this and say, now it's the year 2016. Now this event happened about the year 30 AD. I wonder how long ago that was. And the kids start working out the maths. Yes, it was a really long time ago, wasn't it? 1,986 years ago. And then I'd say, and it was in the city of Jerusalem. Does that city still exist today? Yes, it does, in the Middle East. And in this story, we're gonna look out for some people. We're gonna look out for someone named Mary Magdalene, two of her friends, and two angels turn up, and then someone really special. And then I would proceed to go ahead and tell the story verbally or orally, or I could read it from the Bible. Another thing that I've added with this story is I've printed out some photos from the internet of the garden tomb in Jerusalem. The photos are really, really helpful. And I also have the added benefit of having a photo of myself years ago at the garden tomb with my friends. And this really helps. So you can print out photos from the internet. You can get a book to show the place that you're talking about. That's really helpful. Or the other thing you can do is if you have a friend who has a souvenir from the place that you're, or maybe you've gone yourself or talking about the land of Egypt or a story that happened in Egypt or anywhere in the Holy Lands, it's really good to bring those in. And you can see how it's not just a fairy tale that you're telling the kids. You're actually contextualizing it and sharing with them that this is actually something that happened at a real time in history, in a real place in history, and it had real people were there as well, and they're recorded in the Bible for us. So I find contextualizing it this way really helpful. Now my students are always curious about the tomb when I show them this picture. And then they ask, what was it like inside? What'd you see? And I said, oh, you want to know what I saw inside the tomb? And they're like, yes, we want to know. And I said, nothing. Jesus isn't there. He has risen. And he has risen indeed. I hope you find this idea helpful with your classes and the children that you teach. And if you have any ideas for me, can you please share them below? Because I would love to make some clips with your ideas. And I love learning new ideas and sharing them around. So once again, thank you for watching. And thank you so much for your encouragement in this crazy sort of YouTube world. <laughs> Appreciate it.